Hi guys, in this video I'll be talking about how I passed the PSEP examination in under a week. So what does PSEP stand for? PSEP means Python Certified Entry Level Programmer and it is the Python Institute which certifies you. Um, so let's have a look at how I passed. So coming to what this exam is. So PSEP, um, again as I told you, for Python Certified Entry Level Programmer, it presents you with all these basic, basic foundational concepts of Python and it tests you with these foundational concepts. Uh, it does get into um, all the basic foundation uh, steps like uh, variable strings and all of these different um, all these different you know uh, topics that you are you, you're, you, they, that they want you to know on the exam so coming to the overview of the exam it's there's 30 MCQ multiple choice questions and it has a passing score of 70 percent I also noticed when I did the exam that they were um, they were actually drag and drops also well, along with the mcq um I, i'm guessing that was part of the 30 but the, the drag and drop try to like uh, you know like they they wanted you to complete code blocks like a four four block a four i in range block okay a for loop completing a for loop or completing an if statement header okay so that was what the uh mcq and the the, there were also a couple of true or false, but I think they came up with the MTQ and they had a passing score of 70%. Um, I did get an 82% on the exam. So, yeah. And I did this under a week again, I'm telling you. Uh, it was, so let me tell you how I did it. So, the study materials, there's was, there was actually a really free, good free course on Python Institute's website, uh, and it's called Python Essentials 1, which will help you get ready for the piece of exam to be honest i feel like that's all you need but you could uh, and there's also a cisco version of the same content i think i think it's the same content so you can do either of them whichever one you want but uh, i would recommend doing the uh, i did the python institute one and then i also had a you know just to uh do you know have a look at another uh, another person's way of teaching i looked at uh Mosh hamadani i think that's what his name is on youtube so uh, both of their courses just to you know like have a multiple viewpoints of the, uh, of the content so yeah um study plan i would say uh, I'm, I'm currently on my winter break so i i kind of sweated through it so I spent like three hours a day to my winter break and got it done uh in under a week but uh for the total course python institute does recommend uh, 48 hours uh, until you could go and have a look at all these when and it, the course is free by the way the Python essential one course so so definitely give that a shot um, yeah 48 hours in total but you can rush through it. Yeah. so exam tips and tricks um, again again with the 48 hours this depends on your how familiar you are with the uh, with programming Right, so I have previously studied, done uh, C++ and Java, so Python was kind of easy for me to grasp. Okay, now if you are completely new to programming, this could take longer for you. Okay, so don't restrain yourself to getting this done fast. Take your time. Um, okay, so some exam tips and tricks. Um, definitely read the questions carefully, especially the edge cases. T manage your time. Because they there are some drag and drop because the drag and drop tend to get take more time because it's kind of clumsy the interface so the drag and drop definitely uh and to tie in with this definitely get the practice test you want to get the practice test because the practice test really 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 mimics the actual test so I think I think it's like uh, an extra twenty something dollars if you want to get the practice test uh, on itself. But I got the bundle. I got like the eighty dollar bundle, which gives you a retake, and also gives you a um, a practice test too. So I did not need the retake. Um, and I, I I got it my first shot in the practice test. Though I'm telling you guys, it really, 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 really helped because of how similar and how it really mimicked the actual exam. Okay, and yeah, coming to the some, uh, the closing remarks, I would say. After PSEP, you ha definitely have the, you know, according to the roadmap, you have the uh, associate level uh, Python course. So 
uh, uh, certification so that you could go ahead with that um uh, and, and and if you if you want to do there's other paths also if you want to start doing projects you want to start doing um you know um, more like data structures according to this i would also recommend you start doing that because this certification definitely gives you some basic foundational ground to go ahead with those advanced topics all right um i hope you i did i hope you are confident enough to get started um, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section and uh, please like, share and subscribe if you like the video guys. Thank you very much.